One of the common themes that I get asked is why the hell do I do this? And when I talk about doing this, I'm talking about daily vlogs. A valid question, and I'm hoping to answer that for anybody who is- <laughs> I believe that I'm the ugliest person I've ever seen. This lack of self-esteem robbed me of so much opportunity in my life until one day I got so sick and tired of who I was, or better yet, who I wasn't, that I knew the only way out of this misery was either to change this version of myself that I didn't like or die. And the thing that ended up changing my life forever, YouTube and daily vlogging. I spent 366 days for this one video. This one right here. I fucking did it. My lack of self-esteem was so bad that between the ages of 14 and 24, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror without having a panic attack. In fact, I used to cover all reflective surfaces in my room so that I would limit the chances that I would catch glimpses of myself. Which is why it's really funny to me when people say something like, I really want to start a YouTube channel, but I just wasn't born with your confidence. I know people mean for it to be nice, so I don't take any offense when people say things like that. And plus, when you see somebody putting themselves on a platform like YouTube, it's easy to assume they're drowning in so much self-confidence that they'd give Gaston a run for his money. But sometimes I think to myself, man, if people only knew the mental sludge I had to drag myself through to even get on the camera, people would realize that I am like one of the most unconfident people on this entire planet. It's something I struggled with for many, many, many years. And even when I decided to do something about it, it took me a long time to get comfortable with being on YouTube. 399 days to be exact. I say bravo. This is to 100 days. Ready? Okay. Yeah. One hundred! Should I make a speech? Wow. A hundred. Look at that. Before we go- oh, before we I go- I thought you were gonna high five me, but instead <laughs> you just slapped me in the chest. <laughs> on December 30th, 2019, two days before the new year, I was laying in bed and I was reflecting on everything. Reflecting on myself, my life, and the thought that 2020 would consist of the same me, having all these ambitions and all these desires of wanting to do all this stuff, and not actually being able to do them, really, really pissed me off. I kept thinking to myself, where could I have been if I wasn't so afraid? What could I have achieved? And could I have done more for my dad before he died? In my head, I've always been a pretty ambitious person with many ideas of what I've wanted to achieve in my life. But without the proper mindset and the lack of self-esteem, I really struggled to get anything off the ground long enough for it to ever become anything. Most of the time, I didn't even pursue the thing. It always just ended up staying in my head as a daydream. It made me so ashamed of who I was. I was so sick of always being so hard on myself. I was so sick of letting my insecurities drive me away from all the things that I wanted to achieve in my life. I was sick of having all these ideas in my head and not the discipline to see them through. And I was absolutely sick of who I had become. It was such a huge factor in my depression and my anxiety. And I realized that the only way I was ever gonna overcome this was if I forced myself out of my comfort zone. Even before YouTube existed, I always had a fascination for video content. I'd spend hours as a kid watching movies, watching how the story flowed and how the actors acted. And I had this dream of going to the School of Visual Arts in New York City to pursue a career in movie magic. Then YouTube came around in 2005 and completely took creative possibilities to a whole new level. The first video I ever put up on YouTube was in 2006 on a channel long forgotten. And since then I've started multiple channels, but none of them have ever lasted long enough because my insecurities would always get the better of me and I would just quit. But on December 30th, 2019, I had had enough. I was tired of my own bullshit and for the first time since I was 14 years old, I was determined to tackle the one thing in my life holding me back, myself. Specifically, how I viewed myself. So inspired by Casey Neistat, who's arguably one of the most popular vloggers, I decided that on January 1st, 2020, I was going to start putting up a vlog every single day for an entire year, forcing myself to face myself. My thought process was by doing daily vlogs, number one, I would have to be in them, so that would force me to look at myself. And number two, because it was such a short turnaround time before another video would have to go out, I would have to stay focused because if I got lazy, I would easily miss a day. And number three, I would have to dig deep and channel any willpower that I had to cast away the excuses for this challenge to be successful. If I missed a day, Having done a vlog every single day for the last close to 300 days, I might have a nervous breakdown. I would be, I would, I would cry so hard. <sighs> Which is why you get vlogs like this, because I'm not missing a day. <laughs> I don't even care if anybody watches it. 
a vlog's going up. My goal in doing the daily vlogs was number one, to face my insecurities when it came to my looks. Number two, to develop a habit of sticking to something that I started. And number three, to prove to myself that I can achieve something that I set my mind to. Ultimately, I didn't want to be the type of person who was waiting for herself to be confident. I wanted to be the type of person that did things anyways, whether or not I was confident. So that night, as 2019 was coming to a close, I made a decision that I was going to vlog every single day of my life for the year of 2020. The only thing that was going to stop me was if I died. I was fully prepared to be in a hospital bed and still vlogging as long as I was conscious. My grandpappy always said that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I don't understand why Japanese houses have ladders like this. It's so stupid and inefficient. Fear is just, what was it? What's the phrase? My heart's beating so fast. I have to get down. I just had this epiphany. I still have to get down. I'm drooling. I'm drooling. Oh no. Wow, I'm like really dizzy. Yep, got vertigo. I don't like this. I almost died off this roof. I've done a few challenges since the daily vlog challenge and I have to say that with most of these challenges the easiest time is the first two to three weeks because you're so excited that you're doing something new and it's just this adrenaline rush. But after the excitement phase dies and the motivation goes along with it, you're left with a realization that you actually committed to doing something that uh, actually kind of sucks. Because now you're faced with this reality that you have this shit you have to do for an X amount of days no matter what, no matter how tired you are, no matter how motivated you are no matter whether you actually want to do it that day plus there's nobody there to keep you accountable I mean realistically if you miss a day or you give up the only person you're hurting is yourself there's no real consequences except for the ones you set for yourself which is why it's so easy for us to let ourselves down because with things like work and school there's consequences for not showing up but when you let yourself down you're not gonna get fired it just makes us feel bad about ourselves and we're used to feeling that way about ourselves anyway so what's the real consequence from personal experience I can say confidently that there are consequences even more devastating than getting fired. It's just that the consequences are not so in our face and they happen so subtly over time that it's easier to ignore. Which is why change and self-accountability is something we struggle with. And if I was to be 100% honest, without having a strong reasoning for doing what I was doing, I don't know if I would have actually succeeded in putting up a daily vlog every single day for an entire year. I definitely had a lot of breakdown moments. Like, I cried a lot. And once the excitement wore off, that's when all the fears, the insecurities, the doubts started to creep into my head. And it took every ounce of willpower that I had to keep hitting that record button and upload those videos every single day. What I got out of this challenge was completely earth shattering. It completely changed my life. It completely changed who I was. The confidence that I gained in myself and my own ability went through the roof. I mean, Elon Musk's SpaceX rocket couldn't have even taken me as far as my confidence boosted up. Does that make sense? <laughs> Did the whole challenge end up making me think differently about the way I looked? Not really, but what I ended up gaining from the challenge is something much more valuable. That despite how insecure I am, or how scared I can be, or how uncomfortable I am, I'm less and less allowing myself to be controlled by that, to be held back by that. In fact, if something makes me uncomfortable or something scares me nowadays, I find that I go towards it more. I view it as a challenge. I want to do it because I don't want that one thing to be a limiting factor in my life. It almost sounds counterintuitive, but the only cure that i found for fear and insecurity is to walk towards it and not run away from it. To train myself to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And the more I do it, the easier it gets. Action is a great restorer and builder of confidence. Inaction is not only the result, but the cause of fear. Perhaps the action you will take will be successful. Perhaps different action or adjustments will have to follow. But any action is better than... So this is going to be a shock to you as it is to me, but this video that you're watching right now is going to be my last daily upload. I think with anything anyone decides to do in their life, there has to be a big why that they have to answer for themselves before they jump into something like this. Like for instance, if somebody is trying to grow a channel really fast, I think there's a lot easier and more efficient ways to do it. Like the work smarter, not harder method. My reason for starting daily vlogs had nothing to do with growing a channel. I would have put out a video every single day regardless of if anybody was watching me or not. However, if you're looking to push yourself and really challenge yourself, I think daily vlogs is a fantastic way to do it. If it's something you enjoy, 
enjoy doing. With a strong purpose in mind, I actually think it's a great way to learn about yourself and find out that you are capable of more than you think. Because at the end of the day, we can have a world full of people that believe in us or don't believe in us, but either way, it doesn't really make a difference until we learn to believe in ourselves. And believing in ourselves isn't something we're born with. It's a skill we develop through a constant repetition of putting forth the effort and trying. There are still moments I look in the mirror and I cringe at what I see, and maybe that's something I still have to work on. But when you think about the fact that I couldn't even look at myself for 10 years, to now being able to do YouTube and put myself on camera where I have to face myself every single day, the challenge that I went through and the excruciating amount of just mental change and shifting that I had to do, it was it was well worth that. It was hard, it was difficult, but I can honestly say that I'm grateful that I went through it now that I've gone through it. Challenge of facing my fears by facing myself. Poetic. <laughs> Do I think daily vlogging is for everyone? I don't really think so. Do I even think YouTube is for everyone? Nah, fam. Not everyone with a low self-esteem and the face like a predator needs to have their own YouTube channel to boost up their confidence. But if you do have low self-esteem, I got you. Probably understand that more than, more than anybody. Is it possible to gain confidence in who you are and what you're capable of? 100% yes. Is it hard? A thousand times yes. Because changing your mindset, which is basically built off of a habit is one of the hardest things anybody could ever do. But is it worth it? A billion times yes. Everything you ever want is on the other side of fear. We're moving to Japan, holy shit, which is one of the reasons why I'm not sitting in front of a beautiful, gorgeous ocean right now. I'm in a Sprouts parking lot eating a banana. What to do before we leave? Okay. You fix the fence. Check. Close bank account. Every day is vlog day. <laughs> hey you. Oh! I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you I'm can excited to live control. on an island, always fly, by the ocean. We fly, try so hard to get there and we might, we might. In my last videos here, I figured I would do a video just on Buddy because he means so much to me. Three months, I'll be back for him. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end So we just got done checking in We got our ticket, now we're headed to the security Here we go so Matt and I just arrived in Taiwan. You're not even close. Don't wish for indifference. You're not one of those. And guess where we are? Okinawa! <laughs> are you on the right side of the road, kid? Oh. First time driving in Japan. She drives on the wrong side of the road. Trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering before you make it safely to the end. The end. There's things in life you simply need to know. But sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, 
sleepless nights I'm wondering before you make it safely to the end. This right here is actually my 366 vlog. I fucking did it. Yeah.